My name is Stuart Miller. I'm uh, CEO of Lennar Corporation. We are the parent company of Rialto Capital uh, that is involved in the FDIC structured uh, transactions that are the subject of this committee. Uh, we're certainly very pleased to be here and to discuss these transactions. It is our policy and program uh, to remain transparent, to answer questions, to be uh, participatory in all instances and inquiries relative to our business, um, and we look forward to uh, responding to any thoughts, questions that uh, you all might have. Um, in that regard, my opening statement, um, I'd, I'd like to make uh, uh, six observations and, and points relative to our involvement with the structured finance transactions. Uh, the first of which is that Rialto was awarded the partnership with the FDIC in a pure bid program. The FDIC defined the documents, the pool of assets, the structured finance terms, the fees, and the relationship with the manager in a comprehensive program. And we evaluated the program and bid on that basis as did all of the other bidders. There were no renegotiations. We took the program as it was defined. We were required to give a conforming bid and the highest bid won. Our bid in two of these bids was the highest. Rialto and Lenar have invested, at number two, Rialto and Lenar have invested cash of approximately $250 million in the two FDIC ventures. Lenar will not receive any money back until the $627 million loan uh, to the FDIC is paid in its entirety. After the loan is paid in full, Rialto, Lenar, and the FDIC will split cash as it comes in in a 60-40 relationship, 60% to the FDIC, 40% to Lenar, until all invested cash is returned. Only then, which we expect to be four to five years from now, will Lenar begin to receive a return on its investment. Number three, the portfolios are predominantly defaulted loans. That represents over 90% of the portfolio's defaulted loans. Borrowers enter entered into loan agreements with their banks. There was a default. The bank depleted capital, failed, and then was seized. 22 institutions failed and were seized by regulators. The FDIC packaged a portfolio of loans from these 22 institutions that were in FDIC receiverships into structured transactions in which it conducted a bid process to sell 40% interest to qualified buyers slash managers. We took over the management of these predominantly defaulted loans. We did not cause the defaults or negotiate the terms of the loans. It was and remains our job to use our expertise to find resolution. Number four, these assets are primarily, or these assets are primarily sophisticated commercial transaction loans. They are not consumer residential loans on homes. These were loans that were, uh, these were loans where sophisticated business borrowers negotiated for a loan, generally with each side represented by competent counsel to borrow, in many instances, millions of dollars in order to generate business profit. The risks and rewards were clearly allocated within the loan documents negotiated at the time with both parties clearly understanding that all of the rewards would be concentrated in the borrower's hands and accordingly the various understood risks of, business, of the business proposition would rest with the borrower. Number five, because these were business transaction loans for the benefit of the borrower and because all of the rewards would go to the borrower, the bank carefully negotiated that the collateral for most of these loans would be both the business assets or properties as well as an absolute personal guarantee. Borrowers, to be able to borrow, readily gave those guarantees to pay back the loan 
whether the business proposition was successful or not. Number six, we at Lenar Rialto have over 20 years of experience, uh, of experience in managing and resolving defaulted loans. Our process is time-tested and well-ordered. It is crafted around professionalism with a high degree of respect and decency as we endeavor to work with each borrower individually and with propriety as we seek resolution. By definition, the relationship between a defaulted borrower and a lender seeking resolution is adversarial and sometimes contentious. Simply put, the parties have very different objectives. With that said, our program is to work within the four corners of every loan agreement individually and as well within the four corners of the rules and spirit of our court system and the laws. Thank you for your time and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Uh